The relationship between the United States and Hong Kong is a deep and complex one. It's one of the most important economic partnerships in the world, and any change would have huge implications for both. Over the past 10 years, the US has enjoyed its largest trade surplus with Hong Kong. It was valued at 33.8 billion US dollars in 2018 alone. That means Hong Kong is America's most profitable trade partnership. But how did they get here? And just how interconnected are these two economies? Well, it's important to put Hong Kong in context. It's famous for being one of the world's premier financial centers. Its success can be attributed to many factors, not least of which the fact that Hong Kong is a gateway for overseas companies to reach the world's largest market, China. It was after World War II that the US really started getting interested in the city. In the beginning, it was because of its location and role as an important regional shipping hub. Hong Kong's status as a British colony also offered stability in a region still rife with post-war conflict. By the time the American Chamber of Commerce was set up in the late 1960s, hundreds of US businesses had already flooded into Hong Kong, having recognized the city's potential for wider commerce. In 1992, the approaching handover of Hong Kong from the UK back to mainland China was on the minds of many US politicians and business leaders. That's why the US passed a very pivotal piece of legislation. It's called the United States Hong Kong Policy Act. Hong Kong was seen as important enough to the US economy that the US government wanted to maintain non-discriminatory trade relations even after it shifted from a colony to a city under Chinese rule. This is something that only the president can revoke. This is what people mean when they refer to Hong Kong's special trading status. Washington treats the city as a separate entity from mainland China when it comes to trade. That means Hong Kong can avoid tariffs that might be placed on China by the US. The most recent example of how this works came up during the US-China trade war, when Hong Kong avoided costly tariffs placed on Chinese goods by the US. Similarly, Hong Kong didn't place any tariffs on domestic cargo heading to the US. But the 1992 Act has another key provision. It also allows Washington to provide conditional support for Hong Kong to access sensitive technologies from the US and its allies. As of 1998, annual bilateral trade between the two parties was worth 24 billion US dollars and more than 40,000 Americans lived in the city. Today, the partnership is even deeper. Now, over 80,000 US citizens reside in the city, which hosts over 1,300 US companies employing around 100,000 people. About 300 of those US companies use Hong Kong as their Asia regional headquarters. One of the key cornerstones of this modern partnership is something called re-exporting. 43% of Hong Kong's total trade consists of re-exports going between the United States and China. Re-exporting is basically when two countries find it easier to trade by sending their goods through a third party for re-export to a country that wants them. Basically, Hong Kong's strength comes from being an international trade middleman. This is part of the reason why America's trade surplus with Hong Kong is the single largest of any US trading partner. The surplus, which is valued at over 30 billion US dollars, is in large part due to Hong Kong imports of American aircraft, spacecraft, electrical machinery, pearls, gold, diamond, works of art, meat, fruit, and yes, even nuts. US banks have about 148 billion US dollars in assets in Hong Kong and hold 79 billion US dollars in customer deposits, amounting to about 5% of Hong Kong's banking industry. So, Hong Kong is an important destination for US services and exports and it's very profitable for the US. But just how profitable is the US for Hong Kong? Well, of all of Hong Kong's imports in 2019, only 4.8% actually came from the US, but that was still worth over 27 billion US dollars in real terms. When it comes to exports, after mainland China, the US is the second largest export destination. Some 7.7% of Hong Kong's domestic exports head to America, adding up to about 470 million US dollars. The exports include things like electrical machinery, telecommunications, 
sound recording and reproducing apparatus and equipment, jewelry, office machines, and automatic data processing units. But in comparison, Hong Kong exported over 2.5 billion US dollars to China in 2019. It's when we look at foreign direct investment from the US to the city that we really start to see the benefits of Hong Kong. US investment into Hong Kong added up to 82.5 billion US dollars in 2018, a 1.6% increase from 2017. By contrast, Hong Kong's foreign direct investment in the United States was between 14 to 16 billion US dollars in 2018. So, as you can see, the US Hong Kong relationship is incredibly important, and jeopardizing it could have serious consequences for both parties. The US could lose an incredibly profitable partner while Hong Kong could lose huge amounts of US investment and possibly see valuable US companies and talent shift to other regional competitors. Any potential loss of investment or trade could hit Hong Kong's economy hard. But rest assured, it's a situation that no one in the US or Hong Kong business communities want to see.